was going to sleep and I got a text from Lila and she asked to please pray because JJ is missing. I don't remember the thoughts that went through my mind. I just began to pray. It seemed like forever before they found his body. He was found near Kauai, and so he had been drifting. I had friends that made a search party to walk down the shore and be on the lookout for JJ, and of course, want him to be alive. It's a time when God doesn't make sense. We can't figure out why, but we just need to trust that His decision on what He does is the best for us. We used to run around the neighborhood when we were around junior high age. I knew that he kind of had a crush on me and I kind of liked him, but apparently we had a conversation and I said something to the effect of God has to come first in my life and I don't really see us going in the same direction, so I don't think it'll work out. We kind of drifted apart and went our separate directions, but that's the last I saw him for 30 something years. One of our mutual friends that ran around with us, I would run into every so often. This time he asked me if I was on Facebook and I should, you know, check out another friend, Gil, and I ask about JJ and so I friended that I'm on Facebook. But eventually we ended up connecting and one thing led to another and <laughs> we ended up getting married. He was everything I prayed for but nothing what I expected. We were just shy of our second anniversary. And it was two, three of, our, you know, counting our dating, the most wonderful years of my life. He was such a wonderful picture of how God loves me, you know, just that unconditional, all-out love. Even though they were married for just a short period of time, it seemed like they had been married for a really long time. It was so fulfilling. I'm very thankful that God had come to me in such intimacy before all this happened. I think just the way that he so amazingly weaves everything together. I just see his grace and he knew this was gonna happen. And to bring us together before it happened was so much grace. You know, just her, faithfulness to God and waiting for a husband. And then when God brought a perfect husband for her that matched her, instead of um, becoming bitter at God, she clung, and she still is, clinging to God. Everybody grieves differently, and it's perfectly fine to question why, but I do trust Him. That's what I keep saying is that I know as long as I'm here, every morning I wake up and I say, I'm still here, so I know that you have a purpose for me. You need to be here. And it's basically just putting one foot in front of the other and clinging to Him. I've had this life verse, and that's Psalm 73, verse 25 to 26, that says, whom have I in heaven but thee? And besides thee, I desire nothing on earth. My flesh and my heart may fail. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. She claims that greater is he that is in her than he that is in the world. That's exactly what helps her to wake up every morning and take that next step and say, okay, Lord, what is it you want me to do today? It's because of her love for God.